Hey there, awesome artists. This is a fossilized cystoid geode. And I actually got this from Longhorn Cavern State Park. Now, I didn't find it on the ground. I bought this in the gift shop. And even though geoids can be found all over the world, this one here isn't from Texas. It's actually from Morocco, Africa. But they sell them in the gift shop to teach people about rocks and crystals and geodes. A geode is a term that scientists use to describe a rock that's hollow filled with crystals inside. Sometimes the rock is completely filled with crystals inside and sometimes there's a little bit of hollowness inside as well. So we're gonna crack this open and see what's inside. I've got a hammer and I didn't have a chisel so I'm gonna try this screwdriver. We'll see what happens. And of course, because safety is important, I've got my safety goggles. All right, let's go. Ooh. Do not attempt this at home, artists. While I have safety goggles on and I'm working outside, there are rock bits flying all over the place and that hammer narrowly missed my hand. This is a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to try this a different way. Well, that was awesome. You know, I thought it was gonna be solid all the way through, but I think it's really neat how you can see some of that hollowness inside there, like a geode is supposed to have. Now, the crystals inside, they're called quartz, and I came inside and I was reading about quartz in this National Geographic kids' book all about rocks. And it says that quartz is the most common mineral found on Earth's continents, and it's also the most colorful mineral. It comes in lots of different colors. Let's use these geodes as inspiration for our art today. To create these beautiful rocks, we're going to need a piece of paper, our watercolor paints and a cup for water, our oil pastels, and we're gonna need a mineral that you have in your kitchen. We're going to be using some salt, some table salt, to create a really neat textured effect. Let's get started. Draw the outline with a black oil pastel. With a colored oil pastel, draw two concentric lines inside the contour line. Concentric lines are lines that follow that outside line and share the same center. You can also go back and draw a, use a white oil pastel and draw a thicker white line. If you want, you can draw several smaller geodes and play around with lots of different colors. Here I'm using a white oil pastel and kind of doubling up over that line to make it nice and thick. I'm going to go all the way around my geode with this line. Oil pastel can get messy when you are pressing really hard, so tap it off instead of brushing it off as to not smear the oil pastel. Once you're finished with your lines, it's time to apply the watercolor. Use rich jewel tones of watercolor paint to paint the circles. Darker on the outer rim and brighter colors on the interior.
play around with different colors and ideas. While your watercolor is still wet, sprinkle the watercolor with a little bit of salt. It'll create a neat textured effect on your geode. Once your watercolor painting is dry, you can choose to brush off the excess salt or leave it on for a sparkly crystal effect. I cannot wait to see what you create.